73 here. Hey guys. I'm still working on this uh, little matrix. And uh, I never did let you listen to the noise. And uh, went by with somebody else's video. And uh, they were like, what are you doing now? Well, I'm seat belt buckling my camera in the back of the car with the camera on it. So, uh, and uh, this is working real good. All right. So anyways, that's the corner that it's coming from. And uh, ask me why I'm doing this. I don't know. Everybody has videos on with almost everything, so... So anyways, I'm going to go for a ride, I'm going to let you hear the noise, and uh, no it's not the squeaky brakes, they all, all the cars squeak, all have squeaky brakes. Instead of the passenger side, which was was 
initially going to do. All right, so you heard my noise, and uh, Question is, 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 will will it be loose enough when I jack it up? Is always the question. Nothing loose there. And that's the deal is the hollow, but it's not loose enough. It's not loose enough to uh I guess it's not has to do with looseness. It's not so bad. That uh, you can loosen the you can shake the wheel. I see this side. Hear it? I think it's loose enough. I don't know if you can hear it or not. I couldn't get the camera down there close enough anyways. Maybe. I'll lay it on the ground. There you go. Listen now. Yeah, buddy. I think I got it. I think I found it. I think it's here. Right there. Right there, I think. We got a new part order for my camera. It's coming from Sony. guys I'm gonna show you what I do everybody does it differently I've seen so far
So anyways, I don't know if you can see my camera. Yeah, you can see it. Look, very good, very good. Very good, guys. Very good. So, I've used impacts before. I just bust it loose first. That's what I do. And you've already and you already know how to take lug nuts off. You can use an impact if you want. I like quiet. So this is what you do, you get your nut stuck in here. It's a 21 and always grab the same sock and come out here and find out it's not the right one always Then I can't find the socket, and then I have to shove. Seventy three here. Hey, guys, I'm still working on this uh, little matrix, and uh. I never did let you listen to the noise and uh, went by with somebody else's video and uh, they were like, what are you doing now? Well, I'm seat belt buckling my camera in the back of the car with the camera in it. working real good all right so anyways that's the corner that it's coming from and ask me why I'm doing this I don't know everybody has videos on with almost everything so So anyways, I'm going to go for a ride, I'm going to let you hear the noise, and uh, no it's not the squeaky brakes, they all, all the cars squeak, all have squeaky brakes. I bought a bearing for it because 
I thought was a wheel bearing. more money they pay more money for it but then they come to you and want a deal what's up with American people huh what's with the sense the nonsense of American people so anyways then I gotta push this shaft in I'm sure and then I gotta find out inside there look like there's maybe a 12 13 14 Torx and then I'll slide hammer this baby off so I'll bring you back where I'm at, um, somewhere or other. I got my new software so I can split it to get split it together. I'm working on that. All right, guys, thanks for watching so far. 73. I'm out of here. All right, guys. So this is kind of what I got going on. And it looks like my screen goes up again. Uh, maybe not. Yep. Yeah, all right. So I got my RAM again, and I can pump it down. See ya. You push her down here like, hey, you're gonna damage something. What am I gonna damage? On my head if it flies off. No, these these bushings are meant to move back and forth. Well, you might crack them in the inside. Yeah, well, it's just a car. So anyways, we're getting back to this ring in here. Somewhere or other, I gotta pull that, tap that ring up out of there. My axle is like, oh, it could almost pull out of there. You know, look, I could almost sneak it out of there if I wanted to. Maybe a few more pumps. I gotta get that little tap, that little ring out of there. Pry it up out of there. And, uh, I guess it just keeps dirt off the, uh, oh, no. P.S. If you're doing this after I've already done did it, unless you want to replace it. Uh. Be uh, be aware of your ABS wire unless you want to replace it because I almost jacked it. Anyways, it runs way the heck on over there, so I just kind of pried it down out of this one band. You can unbolt it over here screw actually back here in the back side some Chinese screw so you gotta be careful this thing if I go down too much more she's gonna come right off at me so all right I'm gonna work on trying to get that retainer thing out of there so I can get those four bolts loose all right still working away at it three hours later not really I'm about 40 minutes into it Maybe at the most. All right, guys, I'm back. Can't tell if you're watching me or not. Looks like you are. All right, look at this Kitty Wampa. I think my boy used it. Is that normal? I have a Kitty Wampa to it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Anyways, I can ask him. He'll probably tell me it wasn't me, Dad. So, what I'm trying to do now, I'm trying to figure out how to get this thing on here. Yep. It ain't lining up. It used to have one. It would line up with something or other. Ain't doing it. So much for that idea, guys. Hmm, 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 hmm. 
Now we gotta make noise. Okay. More tools, more tools. Well, I can't find my black one. I threw it away the other day, it was on the thing. I gotta get out my PH 550E. Snappy. Haven't used it in a while. Mainly why I don't use it in a while. Because that little piston inside there has a tendency to get stuck. Except for today, it's not. Sometimes he does it. She gets a good little stucky. Anyway, so much for that daily. And then I bought me hubby thing on. This is supposed to fit. Look at that. Just like Flynn. And then some guy on here goes, You can't use these lug nuts. Because when you hit the hammer, you distort the end. And then they never work again, and I'm like, yeah, well, okay. I said, just a car. It's not, we're not building somebody. So I got to sneak on the inside and see if I can run this. camera around the back why not using my GoPro that I got cuz it just it ain't getting it for me I think that 450 some dollars for some little tiny camera that has a little tiny screen on the back is insane you're saying well your handy cam has a little screen on it yeah well just says just cuz it says GoPro doesn't doesn't mean I'm gonna go row <laughs> no, anyway so we're gonna snug these up like everybody does and I'm gonna sneak the camera in there so you can see what we got going on 
in there. And then I'm going to try to find... Oh, there's four of them down in there, guys. Four of them out of the pipe. Point them to you. One right at the end of my finger. Right in there. One. Then one way down below it. Not in the best of place. One over here where my finger is. In the best of place. One below it. In the best of place. Yeah. You know. I guess I could have laid in there. I guess if I cut all this stuff away, I could probably get right to it where you can see it like a champ. But they don't make them very easily. New guys. Talking silly again, I am. Like Forrest Gump. Well, guys, I gotta find a socket. I gotta find a socket to fit that thing in there. All right, well, uh, we'll get you in the back side. I don't know if I want to show you the bearing I got going on. Uh, heck yeah, I can buy some right now. This is the one I ended up getting. It was the second one. The first one we got was for all-wheel drive. Yep, premium, premium, premium. Here's the part number. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> uh, taking one of those one of those numbers BAC you done afraid look at that here I'm afraid to put on where it's from look at that quality packaging oh, look at that doesn't that look like a bearing I thought so Yeah. Uh-huh. That's a bearing. There is. And that's my nonsense, guys. I think Rusty which is pretty good. Alright. There she be. So we're gonna find uh they put some stuff on it. Yeah, I figured I was gonna touch it, get some oily crap on me. So we're going to find that socket back here and buzz those bolts out and uh, get this baby off and get her back on. Alright, stay tuned for another wonderful episode of how to put a wheel bearing on the way I do it. See you guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Took this, uh, took this bolt here from the uh, upper control arm here. I guess you call it, which allows my uh, spindle to move it this away, this away. So I can get into that away. And uh, so I got what I got going on here is I got a little retainer cup in there. It looks like it keeps it centered or something to the effect. And uh, gosh, I might be able to get the camera down in there. <clears throat> so I can point it out to you. Let's see. Uh, right there. Can't show it to you very well. You can kind of see it. So if I kind of had some point. Alright, so we'll use this thing here. Right there. There's a, like a little collar. And it keeps, it's right in front of the two, the four bolts to get out. So. I really don't remove, want to remove this whole knuckle to get that out. 
but I'm thinking I'm gonna get my little drag deal out when I do my if I posted that one or not when I you pump it up and you tilt it out with the uh, with my electric uh, my hydraulic jack thingy and you can tilt it out down more so you can get in there but it would be sweet if that axle could come out of there because then that would totally free it up I don't want to damage the ring because I'm a pretty aluminum pot metal crap don't want to do that so we're going to be piecing this together because uh I'm trying to find out if I don't have to take that whole arm off there. Because what's going to happen is this link pin here is going to spin. And then I'm going to end up putting a new one of those on. I really don't want to do that yet. <laughs> and I need to replace a lot of parts. Just trying to get it done as efficient and quick as possible. Alright. We'll uh, be back soon. All right, guys. After going around here, goodness gracious, I was able to get one bolt finally started. Oh my goodness! It doesn't help when you're laying on the ground here. Well, actually, I'm not laying on the ground, but I'm laying on the ground. If you know what I mean. I'm doing it like most people would be doing it. A lot of lift. In their yard. In their driveway. On a jack. With a jack stand, I hope. So anyways. That's the deal with the seal. Got our way back together, hopefully. Got one going, the other one's gonna, they're all gonna, you know, you know what they're gonna do. They're gonna give you a hard time getting them in. They shouldn't, but I think most of it's the uh, axle pushing on the center. So just get one, the rest of them are gonna give me a hard time now, so that's pretty much just a standard for working on cars. At least I got one started. I liked it better when I had that, that jack hydraulic jack pushing it, but I can't do that until I get some more bolts in here. And, uh, so I'm gonna get this other one to go. Then I can put that back in there. Going. Could be going. Yeah, I think it's going. All right, since it's going, and I got the jack in the top part is where I get the bolts going. I will be jacking it back down again so I can get to the axis. This is to the axis. This is. All right. This is this, this, this. Oh Lord. So it's the same deal. Blue seal as before. To get the socket. Back on. Ow. To get the socket back on, you got to tap it on there. 
and uh, yeah, participating. Participation. All right, really starting to wind me up now. Anyway, so the, the little ring down there, it's kind of a dusty ringy, oh my gosh, is uh, kind of dented a little bit, um, should be alright, should make it through another lifetime, I don't know about this, I think it's, if all fails, you can dent it with that screwdriver to get warranty a lot. It's warranted, warranted a lot. Okay. All right. We are back on. And again, when you're jacking it down there again with that little hydraulic jacky, don't forget. Your ABS wire. A uh, little FYI, and don't tighten all your bolts all the way up until you have them all started. That's a. That's pretty much. With anything. Well, shoot. Alright. Alright, guys, we're just gonna get pretty much the idea. I can turn the camera back off and swear some more. I, I don't know. It's like you never heard the word before. Poo word. No. Okay. Anyways. I'm going to turn the camera off and say some bad words. So I can get this other one on so I can finish the job <clears throat> I can do nothing the rest of the day yeah I don't think so I got more stuff to do I just don't know what I want to do it <clears throat> wood to split and burn that crap up all right guys we are <clears throat> Got it on finally. <laughs> All right. Hopefully it won't slide off again. Time to get it snugged up here or something close. You say, why don't you use that air ratchet? I hear it over here. I hear your presser. It's I got the big daddy. I got the big daddy snap on. It's too long. I know it. Too long. You can't get it in there half the time. You can't get it in there. I got the blue point one. He wore out. Why don't you buy a new one? Because yeah, I don't use the stuff much anymore. That's why. You youngin' people, you got all that money you think you got. Uh, just that 25, 30 bucks a week that Snap-on guy wants. That's what you, how you get it. I've been there. I've seen guys run for them. <clears throat> oh, Snap-on guy's coming. They leave. Go hide somewhere. 
Really? Yeah, I owe him 30 bucks. I ain't got it. I spent on beer this weekend. Like, yeah, right, you dummy. All right, guys, we're stringing her up here. Yeah, I'm gonna put her back together, and I'll show a, a final uh, Yahoo. <clears throat> there is a torque spec for these. I say tight, tight. I don't know. It's it's like a three eighths. I'd be safe if you wanted to put them at about like forty pounds of torquey, forty five pounds of torquey. Well, how do you come up with that super glide seventy three? I don't know. You've done enough of them, kind of get an idea of what they're supposed to be. Well, what do you think the wheel bearing's gonna be? Well, most of them are over 150. Well, how did you come up with that? Look it up. Some of them are 200 and something. Or other. Why? Yeah. Put it this way. I can torque it to 25 foot pounds and say it'll last forever. How are you going to know? How you think I'm going to post another video of me making a mistake? I wouldn't do that. Not Spence. Guys are never wrong, you know that. Come on. When you're driving down the road and you can't find the spot that stop you're supposed to stop at. You never ask for directions. You just keep driving. You'll find eventually. I guarantee you. You ask enough people eventually after you drive 150 miles past your spot. Alright, so I'm just talking on here. Let's see, one more, one more grunt is uh, 45 pounds. Okay, here we go. Okay, that was two grunts, sorry. Said, What's that noise? Well, I'm on a main road. Well, it's really not a main road. It's a well-traveled road. Get all the truck drivers drive and wear it out. Yep. It's bad, that road is. It's so bad. They love to drive on it. Winter time, the road, you got limits on the road, they don't listen. They just drive them because they're stupid. Most, not all. Not Trucker Buck, but he probably never watched his video anyway, so. But most of the truck drivers, they're stupid. number on that sign low limit doesn't apply to them it's like the speed limit doesn't apply to them all right guys see ya all right here we are the lower control our upper control arm on got the <coughs> got the nut on for the axle nut yeah, don't pay attention to me. I watch all, I spend half the time watching Three Stooges, and you wonder why I act like I do. Whoop, 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 whoop. Knock, 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 knock. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Wise guy, wise guy, wise guy. Yeah, not very good. Anyways, we're gonna torque these babies down 100 pounds. Go find out what the wheel bearing torque is. Because I didn't write it down yet. In case you didn't you haven't seen me before. Uh, uh, here's my snappy torque wrench. Yep. Big bucks. Back when I had no sense. You had to buy all that stuff. Fill that red bucks. Yeah. Anyways.
somebody was out there thinking, you didn't do that, like that wheel's gonna fall off. Yep. You're right. But it won't be this wheel falling off. I've had a wheel fall off. That was when I was doing the casino thing. I was so damn tired. I thought my wheel burn took a shit. Oh, I said a bad word. Bad word. Don't say bad words on YouTube. Shit. Anyways. Drove home. Hear this. All of a sudden, the back wheel flew off. It would have been a good YouTube movie. It flew off, flew on by me. I looked down the road and said, Shit, it going for the car on the other lane. Yeah, woo -woo, right into the ditch. Woo, that would have been a good one. But anyways, it didn't hit him. It missed. Thank God, because I would have felt bad. A little bit. For a few minutes. We got insurance for. Oh, the bees are out. You're flying around my head. They think I'm a pumpkin. Go away. Bee, go away. I got no honey for you, nothing. Go do something important. Alright, good to her down. We'll, uh, swat a bee today. Yes, I will. Be the one dead bee. See ya.